Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Lipdeer20, and welcome back to Black Ops 2 Zombies. Now, we have a brand new challenge today. Today's challenge is a no-purchase challenge, and basically what that means is we cannot buy anything whatsoever. So, no guns, no pack-a-punch, no perks. Now, the only exception to the rule is the fact that we can buy doors, because we do need to leave the area, you know? But that is it. No other exception. But depending on how well this episode goes, I might try this on other maps, you know, like Origins, The Rising Throck. I think Transit. Transit would be a really fun one because of how difficult it would be. But for now, we need to focus on what we have up ahead. But I think the first thing I'll try to do is get the Hills Retriever as soon as possible. And try not to use my ammo because I realized after using a uh, whole entire mag there that we need it for our future rounds. But uh, now we gotta wait for the little Hellhound. You know, I actually named the Hellhound Fluffy. Like, me and my friends actually named him Fluffy because of the fact that it relates to the lore. Because, like, Samantha's dog is named Fluffy. It turned into a Hellhound. So, Hellhound, Fluffy. Makes sense. You know, I feel like a lot of you guys can relate to this story. But I remember, like, me and my friends, you know, we always had that one guy. Or maybe you were that one guy who had their, like, mom call them or had to use the bathroom so you'd always end up like camping right here or over there or whichever corner you know but usually what ends up happening is that all the zombies for some reason all the zombies just go straight for that guy in the corner oh hey the hellhound is done perfect let me go open up the cafeteria area hey that rhymed but yeah i just remember all the zombies going for that one friend that one guy that's afk although i will be honest sometimes i did let the zombie go after them because it would have been super funny but uh if my friends are watching this i totally did not do it to you hopefully that saves my skin there but i will be honest i can't really speak too much on the whole like leaving part because i did leave recently myself i was starting the shadows of evil easter egg and i had to go pick somebody up and it was like a 50 minute drive altogether and so i left and i came back and i came back to a lobby screen i was like hey what happened and they were like yeah so after you left the zombie died and we all pretty much went down soon afterwards trying to protect you and like i felt really bad about that i felt kind of like I was like, oh, we gotta do this again sometimes. So we still need to reschedule that. I have yet to uh, reschedule that because one of our friends did not have the uh, did not have the summoning key Easter egg part of it. You know, the super Easter egg part where you get the summoning key and then the uh, little gummy worms. Oh, hey, Hellhound is completed here too. Nice. Although all these zombies have been shot at, so I will have to finish them off. All right, let's go and turn on the gondola. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I also remember my friends trolling me sometimes where they were like, come on, come on, go to the gondola, go to the gondola. And then they're waiting for me. I'm running with a bunch of zombies right behind me. And then they activate it last second. And then after they did that, I usually went down and it's like, come on, I had Jug. But I will say, it was always a pain whenever your friend went down to try to revive him on the gondola. Because sometimes I would accidentally, like, buy the gondola itself when I didn't want to. I also remember, like, this weird glitch that happens, mainly due to the lag. But I remember, like, if you went down on the gondola, you had a chance to, like, face straight through and fall straight to the ground. And you went out of bounds completely. All right, let me get a grenade cooking here. Three, four, cobra. And then we do have three more grenades. Should be more than enough. One, two, three, four, yeet. I have not said yeet in a long time. You know, I don't even remember the last time I actually said the word yeet. It's kind of like dabbing. Like, the last time you've done it is, like, probably, like, 2018, if I remember correctly. Uh. But like, I feel like I've done it unironically here and there recently, but I can't remember. Although once in a while, I will do like the whole water bottle flip because it's like, it's kind of fun to do it once in a while. Time to kill time. All right, you're the last zombie. I can't remember which number we're on, but oh, we got complete. Nice. Let's see. We have 3,830. Do we have enough? I don't think we'll have enough to go all the way to the Hell's Retriever. But I do want to try to get myself some, uh, not some, but a shield. That would be really useful right now. And then we have the part right here. Perfect. And I'm going to kill the zombie here and then go back to the top. And we just need a few hundred more points just to go to the uh, Hell's Retriever room. I think it's like 1,500 if we go where the uh, double tap area is. But I think we should make the zombie shield first, obviously. Get a little bit more protection on our back. We do have to be very careful once Brutus comes because he'll be oh my god I did not think this through we kind of have a uh, 
kind of have a little bit of a troublesome scenario here. And that's the fact that we are kind of trapped between locked doors. So let me let me at least go into the afterlife mode. I'm going to open up the warden area. So let me shock you real quick. And then I'm going to shock this thing back here just so that we get a little double points. And then I go revive myself and hope for the best. Two, three, four. I'm just going to throw some grenades here. One, two, three, four. All right, we should have at least a good little bit of points from here, as long as we don't have our ankles bent in too much. Ah, uh, yeah, this is not gonna go well. Hang on, maybe, maybe. Oh, I don't know if we can make this. I don't know if we can make this. Oh, God. Okay, 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 maybe. Okay. Holy Christ, how do we do that? How do we do that? Oh, we can definitely get the Hell's Retriever now. Oh, that was such a close one. I have no clue how we survived that. Holy Christ. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go make the shield here soon after we kill these zombies. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I kind of wish they brought back the uh, brought back the perma perks for the Vectus crew during uh, what is it called? The uh, Black Ops Four called the Dead version. I can't remember. Tag their totem. Tag their totem. That's the name. The banking system. I kind of wish they brought that back as well. Although it would have been cool to see that stuff on like other maps as well. But it would have made it so much easier on those maps. Like Origins. Ooh, piece of cake. Mom of the Dead. Piece of cake. Although I think Nuketown would be the one that would be like the most easiest if it had perma perks in the uh, banking system. Like, could you imagine perma PhD on Nuketown? That would make high rounds so much easier. All right, let's try to get the blunder gear right now. So I'm gonna go grab my little skulls. Actually, I think we do need to open up the roof here. We should probably go for the Warren's key as well and open up the downstairs area. So we shock you real quick. I think I got that. Yeah, now I got it. And then we go for the key right over here and then we got really book it right now hopefully we make it in time come on get out of the way get out of the way and then we run we run okay all right i'm trying to kind of dwindle the numbers here so that way we have a little bit of a leeway to get the schools i think this should be the last one we need and okay Ooh, was worried there for a second but our first one should be right there and then if i remember correctly our second one is right here and i guess let's buy this door right there i'm gonna save that one for last in the warden's office just so that way we don't have to like go back down then go back up just to grab the gun and then there's one on the docks is it that one right there yes yeah, that one I always get confused which one it would be if it's that one or that one so thankfully we got a first try there and then this one you can kind of do a little jumpy jump and there we go. That one usually gives me a little bit of a hard time sometimes. Sometimes I have to like jump up a few times, take a step back, that sort of stuff. But let me at least shock some of this stuff open. Or I guess like break the generator stuff. You know, I wish for Blood of the Dead, they actually had it be more so an expansion to the map. Because I hate the fact that like some of it was closed and like the only parts that were added, you don't ever go back to. Unless you're doing like the Easter egg. But let us go and get the blunder gap. You know, it is a little bit of a shock. We have yet to go down and it's round seven. Because like normally at this point, I would have gotten down like seven times already. But the last little skull is right up there. And there you go, our free blunder gap. You know, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of crazy that like, even though I don't play zombies too much besides like challenges here and there, I still retain a lot of my information, like a little bit of my skills, a little bit of that like, oh, hey, I know how to do X, Y, and Z. Like, just through muscle memory, it's kind of crazy how, like, engraved it is into my body. But now that we have the blunder gap, let's grab the key and let's start opening up some stuff. All right, let's open up the little gate here and then let's go turn on the laundromat. You know, I've had multiple sessions where I, like, accidentally forget to open up the lock and I go to turn on the, uh, I go to turn on the laundromat and it ends up me going like, oh, god damn it. Can somebody open it up? I need somebody to help me here. I've actually had a few moments where I went completely down because of the fact that uh, I kind of waited too long before I asked for help. Or they were like so far away. So by the time I could like revive myself, I was like completely down. It was like, help, I went down. But there we go. A nice pair of clean laundry right there. You know, one reason why I really love uh, Mama the Dead. Oh, Breeze is coming, by the way. 
But one reason why I really love Mile of the Dead is due to the fact that you're like stuck in the cycle and you have to try and break that cycle. But I love the fact that like Mile of the Dead has a kind of like self-contained in a way. And technically Call of the Dead has a little bit of that as well as uh what is it called? Shangri-La if I remember correctly. But like Mile of the Dead is like the only map where it actually has an effect on which side you choose, you know? I remember like doing the Easter egg with my friend and we had a moment where it's like okay we're going to 1v1 each other we had the best guns and whatnot blah 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 i can't remember who is who i think he was weasel but i remember going like yeah yeah we're gonna have this be an epic showdown i just walked up to him with the uh, golden spork and just knifed him and it was game over and it was like so hilarious to me i just walked up stabbed him and it was like you win congratulations the cycle continues and i was like woohoo you know i completely forgot on black ops 2 you can kind of like strafe left and right so you can kind of just go do 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 It's so stupid. I don't know why they added that, but it is just a funny little feature. Because I don't think it will give you any tactical advantage, even like multiplayer. Maybe like a slight edge, but I highly doubt it. Oh no 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 Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, nope, we were not gonna make it. All right, just so that way we don't go down again, let's do the uh, blender get upgrade to get the ass again. Or right, never mind, I'll just go down. Do I not? Oh, that's right. My shield broke when I went to uh, when I went to protect myself. I was still under the impression I had a shield. Oh, that's not okay. That was so unfair right there. Okay, okay, we can definitely escape now that we shocked those guys away or not. Or not. No, 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 no. Not again. Okay. We need to lock in. We need to really lock in here. Teleport all the zombies away. All of them. Stay away from here. Okay. That should give me enough time to run away. Okay. Okay. Now we go grab a shield. We need a new shield. And we need to survive this round and the next few. All right. I'm at least going to wait one more round before I get this part right here. Because I do want to make sure we play it safe here. But I do want to at least get the one near the docks. Gotta wait for those zombies to disappear there. And there we go. Got our oxygen tank. Alright, let's get this part right here. You know, I have to say, I think my two favorite moments in Mod of the Dead history has to be, like, one, when we couldn't figure out how to upgrade the Hills Retriever. So we were basically, like, guessing here and there. And it wasn't until we uh, went into the game files and we're like, oh... It was actually doing X, Y, and Z. We had to uh, get 15 kills, had to go through the bridge, get only kills with the Hills Retriever, followed by throwing it into the lava, and then uh, picking it up in afterlife mode. But I think my second favorite moment has to be when we, uh, when we found smoke grenades inside the game files. And the reason why was because Brutus actually uses them whenever he, like, gets his helmet removed. And I find it funny because people were like, was this used for something? It doesn't really do anything when we use it endgame. And it turns out it was just Brutus. But now we have all the playing parts. So let's go upstairs real quick. I'm going to try not to use my ass again too much. Because we only have a few shots here. If my math is mathing, I think we have six shots all together. So let's use our Hell's Retriever here just a smidgen. Man, I really hope we get a max ammo here soon. Also, we need to get another shield. Ooh. Oh, that's a nuke. I thought I was going to be like a max ammo or something. Okay, so I accidentally ended the round. So uh, let's go to the bridge now. Try to uh, try to make this as painless as possible here. Even if we had to spend two rounds on the bridge, that should not be too much of a big deal there. I think my favorite thing about the plane is the fact you can like sprint on it for some reason. Like you don't actually go anywhere, but you can like full on sprint in the... Uh, had like the little sprinting animation show up and also the fact you can see like icarus fall from the sky i think he falls over here yeah there he is god i really want to pack a punch right now oh we got max ammo that is so beautiful all right well the moment of truth will this count i doubt it but hopefully it does because we did not kill any zombies beforehand oh we got one more crawler or no we have two let me see if i can do a combo wombo here uh yeet and nah i did not oh no i did perfect but sadly that did not count so we do have to stay here one more round man i have to say this is a lot easier when you have friends to help you out here i hate when brutus shakes my screen like this i cannot tell where i'm going you know i'm not gonna lie doing this challenge makes me wonder if we actually try to do like a no perk challenge on mom of the dead like, what round will we make it on? And, like, I wonder if we can have a spot on the uh, Zombies World Record website where we can make it to, like, I don't know, maybe fifth 
Fifth would be a good spot, personally. But usually people are, like, round 70 with this stuff. All right, there we go. We're done with the bridge. All right, let's revive our character. And let's go grab a new shield, because we are out. Okay, do not know how we died there. But I guess we got hit in a uh, very unfortunate spot. All right, let's throw our Hill's Retriever in the lava. Ooh, insta-kill. That'll actually be really useful right now. Okay, well, that was also another unfortunate scenario. But there we go go let's go get the hell's redeemer and there she is the hell's redeemer all right let's go and run around the place i guess we could probably go for the golden spork but i don't think it's gonna be really useful oh no my shield broke ah oh. I was trying to run through there. Oh, I think we definitely would have had it, though, if my shield did not break. But we do have a nuke in the max ammo, so I'll take it. I guess that makes up for the fact we went down there. I have a feeling, though, the end is near. But at last, it seems like we live to fight another day. Oh, boy, we got another Brutus boy after us. You know, I've always hated that one achievement where you had to have Brutus lock down everything. Ah, God damn it. But I've always hated that achievement because it was so annoying having him lock stuff down. All right, fire this, fire this, fire this. Nope. Oh my God, I thought we were going to escape. Oh, I don't think there's a way we could have escaped that. Well, I guess Brutus wins. We did not escape the prison. He kept us here forever. But you know what? Round 19, that was not bad for our first attempt. But obviously, I think I'm going to end off the episode there. So if you guys did like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any other challenges, please leave it in the comment section down below. And with that out of the way, this has been Lefty20 signing off. Bye-bye.